The implosion of Pier E3 is a highly orchestrated operation. A test blast has proven successful and quite valuable. In deploying our personnel and monitoring systems, we're learning firsthand from this trial run what will happen on blast day. The bubble curtain activated, bird warning system employed, and a few charges going off. Just a few of the many activities that will take place on the actual day of implosion. Not only is there a highly engineered effort in effect here on the pier cap, but also with the California Highway Patrol, who will control traffic both on the bridge and in the bay. On the eastbound portion of the Bay Bridge, we will stop traffic just prior to the Treasure Island Tunnel. On the westbound portion, we will stop traffic just after the Toll Plaza to, to keep that area clear. In addition to that, we will also have the pedestrian bicycle path on the eastern span of the Bay Bridge shut down. And that's going to be shut down the night before and then reopened shortly after the implosion event. On the water itself, we will have CHP Marine units strictly enforcing a 1,500 foot perimeter around that section of implosion so no boats can get in. The precision of effective partnering with CHP, along with the public's cooperation and proper planning, will make for limited inconvenience. So on the day of the implosion, expect that traffic will be stopped in the Bay Bridge, both eastbound and westbound, for approximately 5 to 15 minutes. Caltrans construction, design, and environmental teams, along with the contractor, are focused on safety, efficiency, and environmental sustainability. For Caltrans News Flash, this is Leah Robinson Leach.